This is the BBX RAR file. Download that. Another is the one below it, which is the Verizon system file. This is a untouched file other than to get it to work on Wolf Root. Okay. So it doesn't have any of the customizations in it or anything like that. Straight file. Verizon bootloader, Verizon modem, and then you want to download the Sprint user debug. You click on this link right here. I open up another window for you guys. It'll take you to this page right here. And you simply scroll down and you click right here. Boom. Save that file to the same folder. You also want to save Sun7zip. And you want to save Odin. Now I know it's in is simply double click on minimum ADB and I will have this description in the link below you want to hit run yes next next now I changed mine to just say ADB right here this is what the file extension name will be I think this will change it actually default to minimum ADB fastboot I did ADB just because it's shorter you hit next. I typed in ADB again just so I can shorten the name. You hit next and then you hit next again and then we'll install. Now I already have it installed so I'm not going to do it. When it installs, it installs into PC, C drive. If you're running on uh, Windows 64, programs, ADB right there. Okay. So you guys can see that's where it is. The Sun 7 zip is not in there or folder is not in there. I did that uh, to save time, but that's where it will be, okay? Also, you need to make sure you have your drivers installed. So if you do not have your drivers installed, go to Samsung link that's down below and install your drivers. All you simply have to do is double click on the drivers. They look like this. Install them for your phone, and then you're good to go. Now you have ADB installed. So the first thing you want to do is you want to extract the system RAR and the BBX RAR file that we downloaded. So if I go to my folder where I download it, I had the zip files and now I extracted them already. So as you see, that's the BBX file and this is the Verizon system file. You need those two files. Once you have those extracted, file transfer. And so now you're in the transfer mode, right? So you can transfer stuff to your phone. All right, put that back in the screen. So once you get there, all you need to do is drag the files that you just extracted to your SD card, okay? So I will go back so you guys can see this again. This is actually my SD card, so I clicked on the wrong one. I got 128 gig SD card in here. So open that up. We want to drag BBX over. Get out the way, Windows. Move, get out the way. All right, so as you see, that file is copying over. Then you want to go back to your Verizon system file that you extracted. Copy this over. This may take a while, so stay tuned, and I will crop this part out. All right, everybody, so now you can see that the file just completed, and on my SD card, I have the BBX uh, file transferred over as well as the Verizon system file. Now, next thing you need to do is use the Sprint user debug um, firmware we just downloaded from the link that was right here. So to run this, you need, so the phone's turned off. And now what you want to do is you want to put it into download mode. So to do that, you simply hold the power down, volume down, and the home button. You get to the screen and you hit up. Boom. Now we're there. Now we're sitting in download mode. Okay? So what you want to do is go over to the Odin file that you have. Uh, you have a zip file, so you need to extract it. Open it up. Go in to Odin and run Odin. Now, you'll know if your drivers are working correctly 
because you will see as it's right here it will show up as in a green and it will say com three four five whatever um that you plug into a usb spot and it shows that your phone is attached okay next step is to click on ap find the sprint file that you downloaded so it's the all spt underscore nine three zero pvp u1 ap3h or ph3 okay this is the file you want you don't want any other file with this one you want to click ok it's going to take a second and as you see if i scroll over it shows the file right here oh sorry it shows that all underscore sbt underscore 930 pvp u1 aph3 okay so then you hit start what's going to happen now it's going to flash the sprint firmware onto your phone and as you see this little green bar is filling up and on the phone itself well it's not the way you can see the bar going across now this is the part you need to stay focused don't walk away okay don't go get some milk and cookies or nothing like this so the button combination you want to hold part is the power installs, button, home it's button, and volume restart button it's going what to is switch is to a screen that says erasing your phone just like it says in step 4a here so racing your right now, phone now, as screen, soon as it reboots ready to flash over to you want to make sure you press erase the content it's going to go from one percent to a hundred percent rather quickly as soon as it reboots hold that button combination that combination again is volume up home and the power button this will put you into your recovery mode once we're in a recovery mode we will begin to pick up the process of the adb commands which will help us get to our end result your computer and now this is where we're going to use the ADB that you installed okay all you need to do is copy and paste period don't do anything outside of that if you do anything outside of that you may mess up don't do that okay so as I said you will find the ADB folder we created in your C drive if my double click will work come on man come on man oh my gosh there we go um, program folder or program files ADB now the key here you want to open the command prompt from this file location so instead of you trying to navigate to command prompt if you don't know command prompt you can simply come here hold shift and right click on your mouse boom see that you see open the command window here now you got the command window okay you're gonna to want to lock that boy to the right hand side and lock the instructions to the left hand side and now we're going to start at line 5a all you gotta do is copy right click over here paste oh guess i didn't copy it let's try this again copy paste enter i'm just going to type SU because it's just easier. This is faster. Copy this. Okay. And then hit make sure you hit enter after each step. Mount. enter boom all right now once you get to this step you need to go to your phone and as the instructions say you need to go to inst apply update from SD card so press down press the power button to select it 
Now you'll get to this folder location right here. This is where you drag and drop the files earlier. As you see, I don't have the files showing, uh, but it is showing my, my directory, so it's fine. Okay, so just sit this back down. You're good to go there. Next, what you want to do is you want to move on to 5G, which is simply copy this line here, and that CP does stand for copy. Enter. CHD mode is changing permissions. Uh, and then you want to do CD, changing command, or the working directory, excuse me. Now, this line here, 5J, there's a dot in front of it. You need to make sure you copy that dot. That's not a typo. You need the dot that's in front of it, okay? So copy this line. Enter. Now you want to unmount the system. Enter. Now this line right here, you want to take this entire line, including the backslash. Copy. Paste. Hit enter. And just wait. All right, so once it gets done, as you see, it'll show that uh, how many records it was in, how many records it was out, how many gigs it copied over, which 5.3 gigabytes, and we're good to go. So once you get to that point, you know everything is taken care of, everything is running smoothly. You should see back in your screen um, that you are back to this spot right here. So as you see right here, if all went well, you should be back to your prompt. Now you want to simply just go to ADB. Reboot, bootloader, that's going to put you back in the download mode. As you see, my phone is switching right now. Blacker, blacker. Take your time, take your time. Okay, don't know why I didn't reboot. Let's try this again. ADB, reboot, bootloader. All right, so I had to type it twice. I'm not sure why that happened. Now we're here, but what you want to do is you want to go back into Odin. Uncheck this, so you don't want this checked anymore. You want to check BL. This is for your blue loader. Hit open. It's going to verify the file again. Then you want to check CP. Open. Then you want to go ahead and hit start. Once this process is done, your phone should reboot. And it should go actually into the phone itself. As you see, mine says custom because I already rooted mine. Let it sit. Now, as it says here, we're on step 11. Once rebooted, you have set up your phone first. It always looks at it as a, a hard drive. Now. All right, so now that we're here, now that we have our phone taken care of, set up, now what we need to do is come down here, and you need to go to step 12A, download the file. This is that Sun 7 file that we had. You want to download that file. So as you can see, I downloaded it already. You want to... Extract this file. So file is extracted. You want to copy this file to the folder location of your ADB. So for me, once again, and it should be the same way for you guys if you follow this tutorial, go to C drive, program 86, if you have 64-bit, ADB, and you just want to copy Sun 7 over to this file location. That's it, okay? Don't do anything else. 
Once you get to that, then you need to enter some more sh uh, ADB commands. So again, hold shift, right click, open command window here. I know I already have one open, but I'm just going to open up a new window, keep it clean. And you want to type in the following things. Actually, don't even type it in. Copy and paste. ADB shell. Enter. Uh, I'm going to type SU just because it's easy. Now, it says if, where is it at? Right here. If your prompt changes from dollar sign to a pound sign, you are good and you have root access. Okay? So then what you want to do is type exit. Type exit again. So now you're back to the home directory of the ADB file. Now we're going to push some files. Okay? So you want to copy 12G. Copy. Paste. Now, as you see, it's pushing super user. It's 91%. It's pushing like four files. So you got to wait. And you got to wait some more. And you got to wait some more. Come on. Do, 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 do. Okay. Now, ADB shell. ADB shell. Copy paste. Sue. So. 